we've had a really a really nice year. Uh, I think our our women have, um, you know, from start to finish, they've worked very hard. They've been consistent. Uh, they've overcome a lot of adversity together. Uh, we went over some of the positive things as a group last week about what this whole season entails and or, or has entailed to this point. When we looked at it, um, just couldn't be more excited to to put an exclamation point on things coming up in February, and March. I'm just looking forward to representing the Gophers again. It's my last time going through this, so I'm going to give it my all, and I'm really grateful that I get to do this one more time. Having an athlete like Kira back is, is always great, and um, but we do we have a, a team full of, of talent right now, both on the boards and, and in the swimming pool. And so, you know, and any time the Big Ten, when you look at it from top to bottom, there's so much uh, great swimming and diving that it just gives our student athletes a chance to really be on a, on a big stage and in, in a lot of fun moments. Uh, everyone's really excited. Uh, I, I miss this so much and just the atmosphere and the energy going into the meet and we're tapering now and everyone's having a good time and enjoying each other and everyone's excited to race fast. Uh, my goals for the meet are to score in every event and improve my placing from last year. Um, I really want to go all best times. Uh, I haven't gotten best times really since freshman year so hopefully best times in my future. I'm definitely most looking forward towards my 400 IM. It's probably my best chance to make NCAAs and make the A final and score really high for our team. Trying to go in and have fun and just kind of fuel my teammates up. Um, right now I'm not really looking at the places, I'm just trying to go, go, go out and get some best times and help my team with whatever they need. Um, I think I'm really excited for the first night, Those both of those relays to start off the meet. I'm really excited. Um, Junior medley, I know we're seated first, so that's going to be super exciting. And then I get a lead off the 800 free relay, so I'm super pumped for that. For my last Big Ten meet, I just really want to focus on having fun and enjoying the moment. I know that in the past I was only focused on the outcome, and that didn't really help me. So I think that having fun and just like focusing on enjoying the moment will really kind of help my outcome. Oh, I think I still have the same goal this year, but I think for because this, this is my last one, I'm really just gonna enjoy it and like because we've been training so hard the whole year. I think we're confident right now. The whole team is, and our girls have like pretty strong this year. Ah, just platform. I like I love my DD one on one dive. That's it. But like basically, I have the same like dives. I use incredible, and we, uh, you know, obviously. The you never want to lose a student athlete like you, so I'm, I'm almost refusing to believe she's a senior. Um, but you know, I think it's the experience that those student athletes bring. Um, you know, they've been here and they've been in big moments, and they've been in you know certainly bigger moments than a Big Ten conference meet. And so I think they can really um, be a be a really nice presence for the for the younger student athletes on the team and help them in uh, in moments like this be a little more calm and just enjoy it. And so uh, their experience helps us competitively, but it really helps our team overall too. I'm excited to see what like a, a Chantel Knack will do. Um, you know, I think she's she's in line. She's had a great year and in line to have a big big meet. And uh, Tevin Waddell, obviously one of our newcomers from South Dakota, what a what a great year she's had. And I can't wait to see what she does. And um, and then you know Lindsay Ray, she obviously she was a, a, a you know one of the one of the big names coming out of high school last year and to have her on our team and going into her first Big Ten championships. I just can't wait for that. And on the distance side, you have somebody like an Aaron Emery who I think uh, got her feet underground last year and I or yeah, feet on the ground last year. I just can't wait to see what she does. And we have a whole team full. I, I could keep going. I just think this is going to be really uh, an exciting time for Minnesota this this coming week. I'm just excited for the competition and to see everyone swim fast and see the team perform well and all our hard work throughout the season paying off and just seeing what happens. I feel like I've trained really well this season and so I'm hoping that it'll all just come together and I put faith in my coaches and my training and myself and just go out there and see what can happen. I'm excited for them. They've been practicing really well and Sarah Bacon, she's been doing really well, Miriam and Morgan. They have gotten so much better this year so hopefully they'll be able to console and final on most events and also Beth, she's been doing really well too so I'm really excited for all of them. I'm probably more excited for her than I am for myself. Uh, I know she's been training like excellent this year and I'm just really excited to see what she can go. I know she can probably score in all of her events so I'm super excited for her. This year our team is definitely like really driven and really excited for this meet, probably more so than previous years. I think we have a lot of young people who are really excited to swim fast and like have been doing really well this whole entire year. Um, I'm really excited to see Tevin swim, I'm really excited to see Zoe, um, both Nack sisters. I know everyone just seems like in a really good spot and like driven for this meet.